How you are going to use the arts and education to help change the narrative about how the world thinks about the south side of Chicago. Where you're building the wow style around the shape, the shape of the letters, adding the architecture. You are an educator, you're an artist. My name is Raven, from the University of Hip Hop, x TDT, Burn Unit. The Adinkra Symbols. Love doing yes. Adinkra Symbols with my students, studying them. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, In bird. explain what Adinkra Symbols are. Adinkra Symbols are West African symbols that are pictographs that have a I'm, I'm almost a proverbial meaning, right? So like you probably like seeing the one that looks like a turtle, the one that's like two hearts intertwined. So every one of them has a meaning. There's different ways for young people or a community to explore that meaning. So like with my students, actually we just did, we did Ubuntu. I had to make Ubuntu bookmarks. They had to choose an Adinkra symbol, uh, write a poem about the meaning and why it was important and then write the word Ubuntu using African uh, script design, there's, a, there's an African writing book about this thing, right? And so they chose those alphabet. So why do you think that's important? That? Why do you think that's important for them to, to choose those symbols? Well, I mean, I think everyone should know about everybody else, but, but I have a lot of white students now, which I never had before. So when I had our students, our people like the last 22 years, yeah. okay, it was vital for, for our children to know. I grew up in the pro, pro, you know, I grew up in the, I grew, I grew up in the transition East community, which became the, the KOG, which became so veg. You know, my family left the United States in self-exile when I was six years old. Goodness we didn't peace. think we was coming. Yes, we didn't think. And I went to IPE, the so Institute of Positive Education, right? right? Yeah. Those are revolutionary right. spaces. Why am I saying that? I was raised in an Afrocentric thing, but also my, our families were also like. You love and you, you love and respect, which you respect about all other cultures. So I'm gonna do a different one. I yeah. said Ubuntu and La Catch. I do the and La Catch project with my kids. That means I am another you, you are another me. But that's a Mayan problem, love. right? For them to build relationships with each other. Love. So use and those concepts. You know, those concepts are all over. And they're universal. You know? Exactly. That like the word love in like four languages. Right? Mm. You may come with a mission that is not necessarily agreeable or totally coinciding with the vision of the community and what they need. So a community artist and a community activist is constantly making adjustments because uh, adjustments because you may be like, I want to beautify the neighborhood with murals. But you got to talk to the people, the kids, the elders, the block clubs, be like, what would you like to see on these walls? You know, what, what would you want to vocalize? How can we involve you? Those are the adjustments where you tweak what you came in with, and if that's where it becomes even more beautiful, and being humble to the things, to the to the to the voice of the community, that's the adjustment, you know. And listening, being like, come with your mission, but be like, it's not my, it's not my neighborhood, it's your block. When we when we created the mural corridor on 59th Street, every writer I brought in, I said, these are the rules. You have to meet people on the block. I want you to meet the kids, go to the block club, because they're going to just say, hey, I want it in there. And I said, I want you to ask them what they like on the wall. And I want to see at least 10 kids' names on the wall. It's a basic system. And if the block club said they didn't want it, so three out of those, what, 40 products didn't get painted. The block club said, nah, we don't want it, y'all here. And it's like, cool, you're not supposed, we're not supposed to be on that block. But everyone had to make their adjustments to serve the community properly with the talent, skills, and spiritual capital that they bring to God. I'm, or I'll use the word the ancestors, I'll use the word the heavens. Yes. We're working with the manifestations of those things on planet Earth. So when you said work with you, can I work? I'm committed to this. Perfect. Okay? And you are part of that ecosystem. Okay? And a person that's leading and doing something healthy for the that's community. That's the second time we heard right. that word ecosystem. So, but in the second part, we're just going to be doing the same things that we did. Come on. The reason why that center is so dope, what did Michelle Obama do? Who, who was, what was the program? All, half the activists that came through SWIC went right. through public allies. Yes, sir. Come on. How many of these principals went through public allies, right. right? How many, so like, I'm just like, to me, all I kept saying, I said, watch man, the Obama's gonna be more dangerous. Not office, be careful, 
because they're going to manifest all those things that they tried to prevent there. And what I heard is the structure that spaces is going to be one of the first presidential spaces that's mostly community centered. Mm -hmm. Right, like it's an active, it's supposed to generate. Right. So basically, man, whatever comes up, and if it's super dope, and if it's not um, manipulative of the community, I I'm down. Perfect. We're all down. These guys, we, we, or wherever they go, that's what they do. Yeah. That's how they, this brother, that's how, that's how every one of them lives. He pops up on the scene. I don't even know. He just shows up every time somebody's <laughs> painting. Every I time somebody's painting, you can count on him. I just be them. around, he bro. He shows up. Hell yeah. yeah. Every time, every time. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Son, cause he a graffiti, he, he like graffiti, so I'm a show. No, I never shit. went down there. I used to Man. know people that used to go down there. I never went down there. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Isaiah, he really wasn't ready. So I say, look, this is what we used to do. We in the dark. So I say, just, just hold on to the rail and duck down like this, right? So as the light was coming, it was looking like a monster, like Godzilla was coming at him. Man, my, my, man, my heart, man, I was like, dog, I don't even believe I got my son down here. We about to die. Man, the train coming, you know it looked like a monster coming at you. Especially if you ain't used to it, this train coming like that. And it's in the dark, and these lights, it's a monster. So me and Isaiah like this, I got my eyes closed at this time, and I heard it open. I heard it stop. So when it stopped, we really got scared. Like, oh shit, this shit right here by us. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking do some water on me and I said, kept going. Like bucket water? Splashed our ass. Kept going. Yeah. The conductor. I was like, man, I'm too grown for this, man. I ain't one of these kids, man. You don't be plastic. But we in the dark, I'm in the wrong. I got my sign. Y'all illegal. It was wrong, man. It was just, I, so we continue. You know, after that, I'm like, I, I was like, I hope this shit won't be. Like, we, you know, I was like, I just, we counted it as water. Like, I hope this shit won't be. Oh. Then we win the first one. They go, my name and shit. I said, yeah. damn, fanatic. Nah. I said, there it is right there, yo, that's me. Damn, so we, he put his name up there and we left. Mm. When we got out of there, it was nighttime. 